everyone! In today's video, I am going to show you how to attach a chain stitch patch onto a hat using your regular machine. Um, I put this patch on this hat. It's uh, sewn on and I did not sew the sweatband, um, which is a mistake that I made a lot when I was starting on hats. So uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to put this patch on this hat using this machine right here. And hopefully you can see um, how adorable this is, and what a great gift um, making something like this would be. So hang on and I will show you how I use this machine to attach. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're gonna put this patch onto this hat. And basically I'm gonna attach it and then I'm going to sew it on my regular chain stitch machine. I have this uh, special, very tiny foot that I made. Um, my husband did the design and we um, had them made in stainless steel. So this is a very tiny foot, as you can see. And when you use this foot, you can get closer to the bill of the hat. Um, so you can attach stuff to hats more easily. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, double-sided glue roller, I guess, and I'm going to put this all over the back of the patch, stick it on the hat, and sew it down using my regular chain stitch machine. Hang on, I'm going to put the double stick tape on. Basically, the dispenser's really nice. You just hold it and you just roll it down, and it puts the glue onto the piece. It's a little finicky because, you know, it's thread and stuff, but I'm going to attach the glue and we'll be right back. Okay, so I ran the double stick tape all over the back of the kitty cat, and I'm gonna now position the cat on my hat for sewing. And I'm gonna be sewing through the gray um, felt on the edge of the patch. So I'm just gonna put my cat on the hat. That kind of rhymes like Dr. Zeus, cat on the hat. Okay, press it down. And then I just am gonna sew around. So hang on, I'll get us in the machine. I'm gonna show you how this is done. Okay, so I have my machine threaded with a gray color, the same as my felt patch. Before you start sewing, you need to take a paper towel and blot your entire machine all over um, so you don't get any oil on your hat. You wanna go up underneath here in the back and just Blot your whole machine so you're less likely to get any oil on your hat. Okay, now I'm going to just start going. So the small foot, I just have to stay away from the bill on this hat. So I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to open the hat up and I'm going to turn the hat inside out. Okay, and then this, um, this hat has a curved brim. This may be a little more difficult if you're using a, a flat brim hat. I'm gonna turn the hat inside out and I'm gonna put it under the machine and I'm gonna move over to where I'm gonna start. And I need to turn the hat inside out, okay, and make sure that the sweatband is not caught underneath of the hat. So I'm pulling the sweatband out now, making sure it's not caught. And I'm gonna maneuver over to where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start right here, okay? So I made sure that the sweatband isn't under the cat and I've got the hat kind of inside out. And now I'm just gonna start sewing. Um, the hardest part of this is when you're right here where the, the bill is, you have to help it get over. Hopefully you can see. You have to help it get up and over this thick part, okay? So I'm kind of turning by hand. I'm lifting the foot and I'm moving it because it, it can't really feed very well because it's um, too thick right here. So this is just the one part where you have to make sure that sweatband's not under it. It's super thick because it's the seam in the middle and you have to kind of manually advance the hat um, if you put your image higher up, it will be easier to do. 
Um, but I'm just trying to show you a way that, okay, so it's not feeding right now because it's too fat right there. So I'm going to have to lift the foot and manually feed it just to get it across that area. Um, okay, I probably can go now. Okay, so I manually sort of helped it along just to get over that area. And now I'm going to go around the cat. This part's much easier. Um, so I'm going to go as far as I can go. I'm going to rearrange the hat a little bit. The, um, the double stick glue really helps. Hopefully you guys can see that. To attach your patch to the um, hat. So I'm going to keep going around. My thread just fell off the thread cone. Okay, my thread cone literally fell off the thread stand. Um, that probably wasn't helping, but the thread got stuck, so I just put the thread back on the thread stand. So this part of the hat up in here on the top, this is basically pretty easy. Just going around my gray felt, and I'm going kind of slow, trying to make sure I stay on track. And then when I get to a point, I might need to reorient the hat, which is inside out. You can see the bill is facing towards me. And I'm coming back around to go down. I'm going to stop here for a second and just reach under and make sure that my sweatband is inside out and not, not gonna be in the way. So, I don't know if you can see this, but the sweatband is right here, and it's inside out. So I'm gonna flatten everything down, I'm gonna keep going. And I'm holding onto it just to make sure it feeds properly. I'm gonna reach under from the left side, pull that sweatband out, Keep going. Come back to where I started. Go like three stitches past where I started and I am done. And now getting it out is a little difficult. I'm going to pull out some slack. I'm going to lift the foot and I'm going to rotate the needle the other direction and I'm going to pull it off the needle that way because it, it won't feed out where the bill is. But basically I'm done. I hope you could see that. Um, I'm gonna pull my thread, give myself a tail, cut my thread off. Now I'm gonna feed my hat out. Okay, let me... Um... Okay, so I had the hat inside out while I was sewing, and now I'll just pop it back to right side out. And I was doing it on this machine using the small foot. So, let me... Let me rotate you this way a little bit so you can see. So there's my patch on my hat. And um, I think it came out pretty cute. So if you look on the inside now, you can see that just went around, didn't get the sweatband. Then I'm just going to finish off the thread and be done. Okay? Thanks for watching.